Oh. And um, a couple cards. And a really cool postcard. So I won't jump ahead. Look what Pocus got a hold of. The Bonito Flakes thing. <laughs> when we're done, Pocus, I'll give this to you, okay? Here, I'll put it down here so I don't forget. I'll put it right here. I promise. Sounds like Pam's having trouble with the dogs. The dogs have been amazingly well. Good. Good through all of this. Did you know I had Bonito Flakes? Yeah. The cats have been really good, too. Thank God it's been good enough weather that we've been able to let the cats out in their outdoor enclosure. Otherwise, I think they'd be going crazy by now. And it's getting kind of getting to me a little bit today. You know, it's hard when you got all the cats in here and then the volunteers and, and I was trying to work and it's just crazy. So I've got a lot of projects done in the house um, rescue center related. Um, that that I had been wanting to do, so I got a I got a few of those done, which was really nice. But oh my gosh, I can't wait! So the guys had a the floor guys had a little change of plans. Um, they did not put the polyurethane down today. That goes on tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Thursday, and then Friday morning, then nothing. The floor just sits and dries and dries and dries all day tomorrow, and then Friday. They'll come back and they'll put the four inch vinyl mop boards up along the edges. And then Saturday, um, and then it dries and dries and dries all day Friday again. And then Saturday, um, Martha L will be in and she can use the ladder and she's gonna clean everything top to bottom. Instead of doing it on Sunday, she'll be doing it on Saturday. And then Saturday, and then Sunday around 11 o'clock, we will be moving back in. And I will be so grateful um, do we have a catetary? I forgot to ask. Let me go check. What you want, Patty Purr? Oh, I can't wait till Sunday. <laughs> I am ready. <gasps> Carolina Ash! Welcome back, Carolina. We've missed you. Glad to have you on. Thank you for being the catetary. Braza? You are going to be careful. Here, turn that way. There you go. You guys think you're bigger acrobats than what you really are. Okay, we've got four boxes. And that one's from Petco. This one is from Bluegrass Delivery. And we have a, have a Octavia. This one's from... Wow, do we have none from, we don't have any boxes from Amazon today. This one is from G. Roy's Commercial Supply. I have no idea what that is either. And this one is from Petco. So let's do this one first. This is G. G. Roy's, G-E-R-O-Y, Carolina, G-E-R-O-Y-S, Commercial Supply. We'll see what this is. <gasps> we got paper for you, kitty. Oh, this is something we haven't gotten in a long time. I don't know who it's from, though. We got two. Look at these. There's two of these. Big giant glass cleaners, glass plus, glass and multi surface cleaner. Thank you, but I don't have a sender. So, whoever sent this, thank you. You know what? We go through a lot of glass cleaner. We have a lot of glass on, or we should, we, I should say, we have um, a lot of doors that have glass that we wipe every single day. And our windows, there's a lot of windows around here too, and we also clean those every single day. Wish my house was like that. Um, but thank you, whoever sent these, thank you. I see, I am so excited about maybe getting the storage storage room. I just, I'm so excited. I hope it works out. Okay, 
So we'll we'll get those. I, I, what I'm doing right now, um, the gifts that you all been sending, I've been putting them in um, Thumper's room, and then when we uh, then when we um, uh, move back in on on uh, Sunday, we'll get everything back in their proper places. So this one is from Petco, and thank you though, whoever sent the glass cleaner, it's a well well used item here. It's amazing how many little kitty smudges we get all the time. Oh yay! It goes in, has to go out, and it's 20 pounds of kitty litter. I have a note here. Oops. Gosh, I kind of got stuck. I don't have a. I don't have a person though. It's uh, Fresh Step. 20 pounds of kitty litter. Oh, now hang on a moment. I might have uh, gotten an email today on one. Nope. Nope, I don't. So, does somebody claim it? Well, hopefully somebody will let Carolina Ash know um, this is the extreme auto control. So thank you. I think I'm actually going to leave that in here because um, I bet I will be able to use that tomorrow morning. So thank you. Please, please, if you are around uh, on there, um, maybe voice voice your name and that way we can give thanks to you tomorrow on the blog. Here, kitty. You want to play? I think we'll do this one next. This one, uh oh, oh no, <laughs> I lost my cutters. <laughs> that cat will shoot me. <laughs> <He's a bear. laughs> this is from Petco, and hopefully, there's a name inside of this. I even know how to change the blades in our cutters now. I'm learning all kinds of wonderful things. Aww, somebody likes you, kitties. And there's no name on this one either, but look at this. We got a, a container of pounce um, kitty. It's the crunchy with tartar and plaque control. Tuna flavor pounce. We'll have to put this, we'll have to give this to them as their treat tonight. Um, let me check something here. Yeah, I kind of wonder if the Fresh Step and the Pounce came from the same person, maybe. Not sure, but thank you. You guys know how our kitty li kitties like to be. No, no, no. <laughs> Focus, that's not for now. That's not for now. Aww. Okay, you talked me into it. These kitties have been wonderful. They, I mean, they really have been good, considering they went from all that space in here there to this space here i just think they've been wonderful and i don't think you guys have heard very many growlings other than a few from um badu once in a while but you know they really really have been good kitties see of course we have been okay where's the cutter there it is okay this one is from bluegrass delivery lexington kentucky And that's all it says on there. You guys like those snackers? And you know what? The volunteers have also been awesome. They, <laughs> they have been really, really good. Oh, this. Well, shoot, I'm not sure who this is from either. It was ordered from Amazon, and it's the baby rice. Somebody's starting to get us ready for the baby season. It's the baby two two boxes of the Gerber baby rice. This is what we use in the baby formula when we have to feed all those those babies in the in the springtime and in the summer. So thank you, but I do, I don't have a name. So, um, gosh, I kind of struck out on all the names tonight. So please, uh, voice. 
voice up, talk up, let me know who, who did all these wonderful things. I think we could probably squeeze. There, I'm into saving as much space as possible. And here, we'll put these back there and I'll put those away later. You guys can have the snackers and we're going to use this tomorrow. Here, let me put this back here. Yeah, we'll just save that for tomorrow. And we have, you guys ate all most of those? And you want a few more snackers? Here, Hetty. Hetty had a little bit of a hard time yesterday. You got some stuff in your fur, boy. Um... She just seemed kind of depressed yesterday and this morning too, but she she acts like she's doing a little better now. Oh, Siri, I need these. I need that. Okay, this is from New Zealand. And it's to the rescue center. I will have to save that stamp for my mom. Speaking of, you know all those stamps that we got yesterday that came from Japan? She and I, I took them out today for her to, to see. And, of course, she had to get her little um, magnifying glass out. And we looked at them, and they are they are just absolutely beautiful. The, the design of them are really, really interesting. So we had a nice time. Uh, going over all the stamps that was oh my goodness that was from Japan and Steve also got a card today to help uh, wish him good good wishes to get better and he really has enjoyed those oh my this one's really pretty check, check that out that's a Flora Nova Oh, oh my gosh, there's more stamps. It says, hello, Jackie, so sorry to hear, oh, so sorry to hear about your dad. I, um, you mentioned that your mom likes stamps. Well, here is our latest release, The Year of the Dragon, coinciding with Something New Year celebrations. Lots of love. Christine. Oh, and this is Kiwi Nans. A.K.A. Kiwi Nans. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, so this is from New Zealand. Check that out. I hope I have the right... There's some there. And then, well, and then there are the same back there. I will give these... I will take these out to Mom tomorrow. Got to take her to get her hair done. Here and they, these are this is like a sixty cent dollar twenty dollar ninety and two forty. Yeah, boy, the detail in some of these are just amazing. Thank you. She'll get a kick out of this. Thank you very much. This is so nice of you. Yeah, she got as soon as she saw the ones from Japan today. She got her got her little magnifying glass out, and there was things in there that I didn't see at first with my eye until I also looked. So I will take these out to my mom, or my mom, as what she says. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Now, don't take it, kitties. Don't take it. Okay, i got to get another one. Here's our postcard. And this is the aerial view of Mount Vernon, George Washington's Mount Vernon estate, comprised nearly 8,000 continuous acres. <laughs> By 1799. Oh, wow. Check that out. It says, No estate in United America, wrote Washington in 1793, is more pleasantly situated than this. Isn't that cool? And it says, Hi, everybody. I was here today, and it was so pretty. Oh, and this is from Patty. This is from our Patty baby. I was here today, and it was so pretty. Ma oh, Mamie. 
Mamie and I walked all around and met lots of nice people and had lunch. Now we're going to Washington, D.C. I miss you all and wish you were here with me. I wonder where I am going next. Love, Patty. And he, and he says, I love you all. I can't wait to get him back here and look through, you know, because inside that box, that the travel box that Patty is in, um, is it like a little journal, and everybody that gets Patty um, is will write in there a little bit, and then we've got all the pictures. So I know the original Patty box, the travel box that he sent was sent in first off to Severn, um, had to be replaced. So um, I think. He's on his 13th visit, 13th or 14th maybe, and on the 20th he should be back here. So when, when Patty and all his box and everything in there gets returned here, we'll put everything together and do something fun with that before we send them on again. So this is from our Patty. How wonderful. We'll set this up there so... We'll let me do that real quick so I don't lose air. Uh, in here, I'm afraid I'm going to misplace things. Well, that's pretty cool. So Mamie, Mamie probably will be sending Patty out pretty soon. And this one is from Gloria C. from Atlanta, Georgia. She's got a big old love sticker right smack in the middle of it. What are you doing? Aww. Check that out. You think that's cute, Raza? It says, just curious. Oh, wow. Thanks for taking such wonderful care of the kitties at FFRC. How'd you get to be so wonderful? Happy Valentine's Day, Gloria C. And, oh, and this is from Gloria C. and Linda M., Atlanta, Georgia. And, um, Carolina, if you could add that they sent a donation, and it's to be used for whatever it says. And we'll probably put that towards our, um, hopefully, to be storage room. And some coupons for food. Oh, and this is the paw points. There's a 45 um, count uh, paw, paw point uh, that we get off of Fresh Step. So I give these to Jody, and then she adds them up for me in the computer. And then we get um, boxes of Fresh Step free. Now, for every coupon, we get a 14 pound bag of um, Fresh Step. So thank you so very much. Um, I appreciate that very much, Linda and, and uh and Gloria and we will use the coupons and the fresh step points and when we get back in there I will hang up the Valentine's card too so thank you well let me do this and that way then I have a couple more things you know um, Greg was ever so thankful he received a couple donations in memory of Greg's little girl his kitty cat that was uh, that died um, so Greg just wanted me to pass on his thank yous for that and uh, geez I think tomorrow we get our next pet finder uh, report but this one's from last week I forgot to do it uh, last week we had 2,622 views, uh, 2,622, and uh, Sari was top, then Reina, Badu, Bushka, Emmeline, Octavia, Polio is still on there, Merci, and Tasco. See, they can get into that place where um, the ones that are adopted are on there, so... The top ones, Sari, Reina, Badu, Bushka, Emmeline, and Octavia. So that's, that's a lot of hits there. I feel bad that we aren't doing adoptions this week, but, you know, I've, 
I was going to, and then Sunday, Monday, when we actually moved the kitties in, it was like, there's just no way that we can um, do adoptions, have people in here, because it's just too crazy. It's too too small with all the kitties. And this is something else that I did not get to read last week that I just love this. And this was for, um, is it Weezy? Well, let me read it here. Yeah, Donna and Weezy and Canton Cat made this up. And she found this on the door to the house this morning. Dear Jackie and all the volunteers of FFRC, all our bags are packed and we're ready to go. We're standing outside your door. Oh, this is to that airplane song. <laughs> we hate to, but I'm not singing it. We hate to wake you up to say goodbye, but the dawn is breaking. It's early morn. The taxi's waiting. He's blowing his horn. Already we're so lonesome we could die. So kiss us and smile for us. Tell us that we may come back to visit. Because we're leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when we'll be back again. Oh, Jackie, we hate to go. But we know we'll be happy way up north. So many times we've played around. We're telling you now. Every place we go, we all think of you. Every treat we eat, we'll think of you. Every day we both sit and howl out loud. We're leaving on a jet plane, and we will miss you so. And thanks for all for loving us so, so much and making us feel special and helping us through our bad colds. Yes, we're leaving on a jet plane, but we won't ever stop loving you. Every wheel we run will think of you. Every counter we climb will climb for you. Every bonito flake we, we flake will flake for you. And just la one last thing before we go, meow. <laughs> and this is from Love from Donna and Weasley. Isn't that cute? You know, I think I'm, I think it was Diane. I'll have to ask her. I should have asked her today. Um, if uh, that she had mentioned that it would be kind of cool to put all these neat things together that we get. We get so many. You guys are so talented. And so for the last month, I've been saving a lot of these. So eventually, maybe we'll put them together. Ask you all for your permission to print them up into like a little booklets and um, it'd be fun to pass those around to everybody. So I'm going to save this one and I bet you can't and cat will let us use it. Oh, this is something I wanted to go over with everybody because we had a problem. Um, let me check and make sure our, our the video's on and everything. Everything's okay guys? videos on and audios on for you all okay and I'm you know I, you guys are absolutely so wonderfully helpful and you try to pass on the best information that you can and I know you guys um, usually don't if you don't know the answer people will email me and ask me the answer so that they know to give the correct answers out to people and I so appreciate that. My thing is always if you don't know, ask so we can make sure the right information is out. But I got a I got an email from someone that's not very happy with me and I just wanted to straighten this all out um, so that you guys understand too. Um, this was a person who had two cats, could not keep them. They had family come in to come in their home to live with them and the one um, child is a highly allergic to the cat so this this person that owns the cat was trying to place them um, one of them was very adoptable I was told the other one was not uh, very adoptable the one that was adoptable she did find a home for the one that is not a very adoptable according to her um, still needs a home and so she's been asking me if I can take this cat but in her email she also told me that the cat is peeing all over and is uh, um, not very social so I'm I just want to read this to you so that you all understand this is from her she says I thought you don't because I told her I could not take that take the cat that was that was peeing because and I explained this to her that um, I never ever will adopt a cat out that I know has a litter box problem because I know what will happen. The cat will come right back here. 
So, you know, when people tell me that the cat potties everywhere, I tell them, I am so sorry, but I cannot place your cat. I can't. Uh, you guys all know I get dozens and sometimes, and depending on what time, time of year it is, I'll get dozens and dozens of calls every day from people wanting me to take cats in. And a lot, the number one reason that cats are turned into shelters and rescues are because they do inappropriate litter box um, habits. And I will not adopt them out to people because people don't want them peeing on the carpets and on their floor and on their clothes and they'll just come right back. So I told her I was so sorry. I sympathized with her problem, but I could not adopt it. But this is what is what we have to straighten it out. She said, I thought you don't turn away any cats. He would be fine with other cats. All the people I talked to on the website said he would just be out back with the other unadoptable cats. In addition, they said that just because he has peed on things in her house, that once they are with you, they are retrained and eventually become adoptable. I shouldn't have said he is not adoptable. I don't even know if he did it or is. If he is litter box trained, he would be fine. Not all cats are lap cats and want to be picked up all the time, but he would be a great pet for the right people. If you don't adopt cats with a known litter box problem, then all the people who chat on your website told me wrong. They kept saying you would take them and once you were there, and once you were there, his litter box problem could have potentially be fixed. Now, I want to answer, I want to read you what I am writing back and will send her. I wrote, "Oh my goodness, you definitely got wrong information." I am the one that okays which cats come in. Most days we get between 15 and 30 calls for cats that need to be rehomed. There is no way I can take that many on. It's an impossibility. I would literally have thousands and thousands of cats here. I do have a place called Kitty City or Cats Cove where I place unadoptable cats, but it is full. I have 17 in there and that is max. I could probably put more in Cat's Cove, but when they come up here for the winter in Kitty City, 17 is max. It is a much smaller building. We can't do more than uh, 17. Any cat that has been peeing for more than a couple of weeks has probably already made a habit of this inappropriate litter box issue. This problem of peeing on carpet, furniture, and walls is a very difficult problem to address and get corrected. It is not an easy issue to deal with. Just because he would come here does not mean that he can be retrained. I get probably five to six calls every day here from people who want me to take their cats because of litter box issues. There truly is no way I can do that or I would end up with a rescue with nothing but unadoptable cats. I'm very, very sorry that you were given wrong information and very sorry that you have such a problem to deal with. And I sympathize with people that have litter box problem. And um, I'm just, all I want to make a point of is if, if you make sure the information that's being given out is correct information. And we cannot, I don't know, maybe a lot of you don't realize that in the spring, summer, fall, we probably take 30, or we probably get um, 30 to 40 calls every single day wanting us to take more and more and more and more kitties in every single day. So where she says, I thought you don't turn away any cats, that is not true. You know, shelters that are kill shelters, a lot of them do not turn any away. But if, let's say if they house 40 cats and 20 come in in a day and they're full, 20 have to go. We're here. We house generally 80 to 110, and when I'm at that max, I can't take any more in. But on the other hand, I don't take them in and euthanize something to make room for them. I don't do that. We, we are essentially a no-kill other than if they come in in severe um, uh, trauma where they're in the act of dying or they're you know, test positive or they are in the process already of dying from an illness. Those are um, acceptable reasons for euthanasia. But you guys all know we give, it our, we give it our all. If we can save something, we go all out for it. But 
uh, we don't euthanize something just to make room for others. So that's the difference of a kill to no kill, is when they're full, they can still take them, and, um, but they have to euthanize to make room. Where here, when I'm full, I can't take any more. So we just have to make sure information is getting out there that is proper because you guys represent this place when you give the answers. So, um, and if you don't know, just email me. I'll be happy to pass on information. It's nice to have, I've seen you guys do this where you give information out on the chat and you guys are awesome at it. And you, everything that I've seen other than this has been good and wonderful information and that helps me a lot. And you guys have all been really polite and upbeat with new people. And uh, the information that I've seen given out is right on. And you know what? Let me let me back up and say one thing. When somebody says to me ever, um, they all kept saying, or all the people I talked to on the website, that tells me right there that um, that there's a lot, there's some exaggeration to that, I guess I should say, because I know that that isn't true when people say all, everybody said this, or all the people said this. I know then that, you know, it's not quite quite correct. So I sympathize with people. I sympathize with this lady, and, and it's a real problem, and it's a real trauma to her family, but, you know, I, I can't knowingly take in kitties that potty because it... Uh, and I know here we have our, our couple little pottiers. You guys all know that um, Ada Jane likes to pee on rugs. And you also know that um, Bella poopies on, well, somewhere, usually under Dodger's pen or somewhere. But these are two of our permanents, and those are two little issues. We deal with it, but it's not like I have, you know, 40, 50 cats in here that are that are pottiers. So, um Everything's going good in here. Tomorrow, I think, is supposed to be in the 40s again. So we're going to open the door up to go to the outdoor enclosure. This morning, it was so cute. When I opened up the door for them to go out, I just stood here and counted. There was 21 cats that went out, but one came back in. So, But they were all um, nose to tail, nose to tail. It was so cute because they just, they just lined up and went right on out. So that was that was kind of cool to see that. Um, let me back up over here and see if anybody has any questions. Well, hi, Zelda. <laughs> yeah, Cape Cod, you're right. Some people do. They hear what they what they want to hear, not what they really are hearing. It, Asha is okay. She's over here, and I did pull her out, and she is okay. Uh, Mamie, yes, I got them, and that's what that's what we're using right now for uh, for Farah. So, thank you, Mamie. Yeah, yeah, and Sunny and everybody else, please don't worry. I I know you guys well enough to know that, and I've seen it. Um, I know the information you guys. Um, have given out that I've all seen is has been you guys have been right on and and it's hard you know when you got a cat that you desperately are trying to get out you know you try to try to do what it takes to get him get a cat moved but um, trust me you guys I'm not complaining about you all at all I know you all well enough to know um, the kind of answers you give and I'm proud of what you guys do Bella She's doing good. I don't see her right at the moment, but she's she's been really good. You know, considering... Oh, there she is. She's sleeping. You know, really, truly, considering the space that we have here, in here, um, these cats are doing really, really well. I am I couldn't ask for anything better for these guys or their attitudes because they have been cramped and and uh, they've been so patient with one another and the volunteers have been awesome too oh it's Tilo that likes those plastic rings oh this is Plymouth who's been my uh, computer buddy do I have 21 cats 
I have 11 cats. Yes, um, cat lady, I know, Badu's been my buddy. I just love her. I'm not sure sure where she's at right now, but oh my gosh. I don't even see her right now, but she's, she's just a wonderful girl. She's really a, a cool girl. Oh, there's way more than 21 in here, but I have 11 in my house that are mine. Cosimo is doing good. Um, we even decided not even to do the x-ray. He's, he's up walking as good as what he was before he fell. So we canceled the x-ray. He's doing good. He's happy with his family. Um, I, I told him that if they didn't want to bring him back till Sunday or Monday or probably Monday, uh, that that would be fine. And uh, he's doing real well. He's playing there. They got another cat, and he seems to be doing good with that cat. Oh, yeah, Siggy Surfing, um, the stuff that they do tomorrow is a real stinky stuff. Uh, they've already told me, and I remember from when we did this floor, that uh, that polyurethane that they put on is it's stinky stuff, man. So uh, we'll open up the window down there that has a screen. We'll open up the catwalk or cat door, and we'll open up this door. And the door from here that goes into there, it's up. And I've got a little space at the top for the cam cord, and we'll put we'll we'll put something in there so that we block that a little bit. I did not get Sharky's card yet. No, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nancy Pants. Uh, yeah, I got the story about Weasley. I just laughed and laughed about that. Um, I'm not sure if Leanie's on, but. Oh my word! I just got such a kick. I could I could see him doing that, running to get on the toilet and plopped right in there. Yeah, we'll put the towels under the door too. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, Musi. Is it music? I'll I'll get it. Thank you. Yes, I I read that bantry I did about Sabrina on the Facebook. I wanted to copy it and take it in tonight and read a little bit better. Wow, Skeetakins. Boy, we got we got all kinds of news here tonight. The the rings, Janak, are hard. I, they're hard. If you clink them, they you can hear them click, click. <laughs> Send Weasley scuba gear. Yeah, Canton, Canton Cat. Um, she's been with us here for a long time. She's been with us from almost the beginning, I believe. Yeah. Sesame is actually right in the middle up on one of the catwalks looking down at at Emmeline right now. She's doing good. Um, that's putter. That's putter on the pink rug. Yeah, I I re feel real real sorry for Canton. What does the cabinet door by Cam say? Are you talking, um, DeWitt? Are you talking the yellow signs that kind of flash in front of the cam once in a while? Oh, well, if, if you're reading, if that's what you mean, it just says, uh, it says volunteers. I haven't made any papers up for this week. Just do the best you can as always. What you do, do it. Or what you can do, do it. What you can't, don't worry about it. We'll get through this week and get caught up with things next week. 
thanks for your patience i've got that down there and then the <laughs> then the other one there's two signs there do it the other one says cam is here because i wanted to make sure the volunteers knew where the cam is lots of close contact with the cam <laughs> and then i think what you're referring to that you probably see because it would go right in from the cam is <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say it, but it says, be careful bending over close to Dodger's pen. <laughs> and then I wrote, this week will soon be over and we'll have our new floor done. Thank you for, thank you so much for your patience. Oh, thank you. Down, down cat is it? Thank you for that. Yeah, Canton has a wonderful way with words. She's awesome. Uh, one, we have uh, Black Cat, we've got Pocus, and um, Dunnikin, and then Little Picasso. So we have three solid Black Cats. Well, two of them have little white here on their necks. <laughs> well, oh, and Jakin, yeah, and Jakin, boy. Actually, I think you have web cameras are all pretty awesome yourself. Oh, I'm I'm glad, Sharky. I know I know your Sharky cat's been such a worry. He's purring and purring. Thank you, music. I I've always felt I have a passion for what I do here, and I'm I'm fortunate to be able to do what I have a passion for. Uh, Derby, I know Jaken is right over here. You know, I'll take just a couple minutes um, and do some clo and bring some kitties up for you. I'm kind of pooped tonight, so I'm gonna go in at. 7:30, and uh, but I'll show you all a few cats at first. We better move this over because if you guys jump on it, you're gonna knock it over. Oh, this one is Derby. This one looks a lot like. Um, Oh gosh, my mind is a blank. I'm sorry. I've had a a long day today. Cyrilla. Looks a lot like Cyrilla. You got a little here, girl. You okay? This is our putter, our wonderful sheriff putter boy, who we love so very much. He's been doing really, really good too. So if Canton comes on, just tell her that I'm thinking about her for me, will you? Here's Pocus. Pocus will be leaving us next week. We're not going to get that phone, are we? No. So we'll, get, we'll call him back in a little bit. Oh, dear. Here's County. He's gained a little weight since he's come in. He's such a handsome boy. Remember when he first came in, how shy he was? He's come a long way. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, here's Georgia. 
What are you doing? Are you staring at me, Potter? Can you say hi? Huh? You okay? They've all been so good this week. Tomorrow's Thursday, guys. We're we're getting closer to the end of the week. And yes, Ferris had her medicine. Oh, see, the second you touch him, he starts purring. This one's Jaken. I wonder if you can hear him. <laughs> You're a little purr baby, aren't you? Mm -hmm. All right, you noisy babes. Hi, cutie. Are you okay up there? Here's little Peverly. Oh, and she's purring. That's very nice. That's very nice, Peverly. Our little promise. You're a sweetheart, aren't you? All right. You're so you're such a big purr. Zelda Belda girl. Try okay. <laughs> She's wonderful. Okay, I'll put you back where you were. Yeah, what I've been doing, Anna Marie, is all the names. I've got a lot of them written down here. Um, <laughs> a tall glass of red wine, a vino. Um, I saw, oh, cutie. Here, I'll hold cutie up and then I'll read you the names that I've gotten so far. Oh, I'm not going to let you drop, I promise. I never let you drop. No, I would never let you drop. There's cutie girl. Oh, you are such a sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you get to see your grave today? Yeah. Oh, that was so good. I think you wanted down and didn't know how to get down, huh? Tell you what, I'll put you right there, and if you went down, you can get down, okay? These are some of the names I've gotten so far for the storage room. Um, I'll just read through them real quick. Anakin's Attic, Cat's Cupboard, Putter's Provisions, Kitty Cubby Closet, Octavia's Closet, Purr Pantry, Cat's Cupboard, Prince Albert's Treasure Chest, Sid's storage room, Adam and Eve garden, Cat's cave, loads of love room, Kitty canteen, Octavia, Octavia's pantry. I think I have another paper over there too with a few more names, but I've been writing them down. And uh, whoop. And uh, then we'll the volunteers I think want to vote on them, so we'll we'll come up with a name though. I promise. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Aw. Thank you, Duet. Cutter Pantry, yeah. Uh, Mother Hubbard's Cupboard. There's so many wonderful ones. 
Okay, well, I'm going to clean up, and uh, I thank you all for being a part of what we do here. You guys have made a huge difference to us these last two years, and I appreciate you webcammers, um, your support, your votes, just your, just your being here with us. Um, so thank you very much, and uh, thank you. I just appreciate it. Yep, please remember to vote. Thank you, Severin. <laughs> Severina's pantry is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, almost 1.9 million viewers. Uh, I haven't looked at that for a little while. That surprises me. That surprised me. Wow. Well, thank you, everybody.